So here we're looking at uh, the Omatex uh, USB cable and uh, what's special about this cable? Well it's besides being the world's thinnest uh, micro USB cable it's uh, bringing the character of textiles into the context of a cable doesn't do anything different than a traditional USB cable but you could call it kind of e-fashion instead of this clumsy traditional cable it brings the conformity into a cable nice. uh, it's a is this shipping already yeah, yeah since yesterday you can buy it on our web shop so how much is a USB cable I think we, we charge uh, 30 US dollar for it so it's quite expensive but it's also a fashionable product so, handmade so who are you I'm the CEO of Omatex which is uh, a development company that mainly do research and development for people that wants to integrate uh, sensor techniques uh, wearable uh, sensors into so you take the concept and what do you do yeah so what we do we can step in as early as the concept idea for clients but we also typically see ourselves coming into the prototype level solving a specific connectivity encapsulation solutions for clients that have run into problems and uh, you're in space yes so some guys in space have it yeah well we're doing an astronaut monitoring kit it's very important for the astronaut to maintain their muscle mass when they're in space uh, but they have no tools to measure it they train a couple of hours every day but they don't know if it's enough or if it's too little and we provide them the tool to enable them to uh, to know what is this this is a part of the astronaut monitoring kit this is a dielectric polymer we use it to measure the increase in circ circumference and thereby also the shift of fluid that happens in the body when they're in space all right and what are we looking at here um, the, this one is the first generation of uh, a uh, device to harvest. Take it out? Yeah, is it open? Yeah, I can I'll rather take this one then. Yeah. We have different shapes. So, yeah. this was the first generation of a near infrared sensor built and molded directly onto the sleeve. Uh, the reason why it's wired is because it's for the International Space Station and it needs to be wired. We can't send it wireless there. Uh, but we have a feature where this device is also uh, sending the signal wireless. Where does it have to be wired in the space station? Uh, they don't want the interference of uh, all the various signals uh, that comes from devices. So that's why we need it wired. All right. And uh, so in the future, you have lots of work to do you're gonna work be in textiles what are you gonna do you're gonna be in a are you the leader in in smart textiles no I mean what do you do we are Sorry. not a textile company but to do a fully integration uh, of a sensor into clothing you need to know the character of clothing and the context of the the, the textile and we know that so we master various incorporation techniques, encapsulation techniques. We develop our own textile wiring to enable it to fit nicely into clothing without uh, being felt when it's integrated. Nice. So, but mainly, how does it how does it work? Can how can you transmit through something like this? Well, it's easy to show you on this picture here. On this one, we have stripped. We strip the wire, so you can see how the wire runs directly into the textile structure. So they all your technology here? Yeah, 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 yeah. One of the advantages of using textiles is that, and the technique we use, we can do outbreaks of the wire, and bring it into the textile again, so we can over mold electronics straight on the textile without having to cut in the textile, and you maintain the very, very strong strength of the textile. Um, you maintain that in the in the cable but there's a lot of stuff that's gonna happen with this in the future no so what are you are you what are you are you working on getting into these uh, jackets and everywhere where, no. uh, we we use it uh, to create the connectivity in various projects but it's not uh, what we consider our core business our core business is to develop electronics to harvest signals from sensors 
and to incorporate these sensors into the garment, whether it's uh, incorporated, encapsulated, or directly as part of the garment. So that means you are more and more busy on new projects. Oh yeah, we've been way, way, way busy uh, in in the in the last years and uh, continue to go that way. And where are you based? We're based in Denmark. Where? In, in, in Aarhus. Denmark. Aarhus. Yeah. And uh, but you travel a lot. You go and talk with different no. customers no, no, in no, no, that no, different no. places or no? We have an interest of being in in ID tech uh, because uh, our CTO is typically uh, in the panels and master classes. So we go here. It's a good way for us to connect with the industry, the various techniques that we then use in our development uh, projects. Uh, other than that, no, we don't do any uh, you know search for clients. They actually come to us. They just come to our house they just come and to they sit there and work with you on new projects. <laughs> yeah, and tell almost. Yeah. Almost. All right. Cool. So looking forward to uh, more stuff like this.